What's that one thing that most of us are afraid of when taking a flight? Not the fear of a crash. We are talking about excess baggage. We keep the baggage allowance in mind when packing for a vacation. While shopping during the vacation and also while trying the most of duty free. What if airlines start weighing more than just your bags? What if they also start weighing you? Welcome to 2023. In May, Air New Zealand announced that it would be asking international passengers to stand on the weighing scale before boarding. Your weight will not be displayed is what the airline had promised. Even the staff will not be able to see how much the passenger weighs. But what was the point of the exercise then, you wonder? Air New Zealand said the idea was to find the average weight of the passengers. So that was what happened in May. Three months on, another airline has jumped into this weighty issue. South Korea's largest airline also will now be weighing its passengers. Korean Air saying the exercise will be taking place in front of the boarding gates and it will be applicable to both domestic as well as international passengers. Once again, the reason being given is a passenger weight survey. But here's a question. Why do you think airlines are so obsessed with your weight? Have a look at our next report. That's all passengers on it's not just your weight that airlines are concerned about. It's weight in general. Do you know why? Because the load a plane carries is directly related to its fuel consumption. The heavier your plane, the more fuel it guzzles, even when traveling the same distance. What adds to a plane's weight? Passengers, luggage, crew members, the equipment and the services on board, and the cargo it's carrying. There isn't anything an airline can do about the equipment on board. The cockpit cannot be tampered with. The manuals available for the pilots and cabin crew can't be removed. But what some airlines have started doing now is focusing on the weight of the crew. Have you ever wondered why our cabin crew is mostly female? Because women weigh less than men. Yes, that's one of the reasons why airlines prefer hiring women for the job. Over the years, airlines have taken multiple measures to cut down on weight. Remember the golden times of flying when you would be served in fine China, irrespective of which class you were traveling in? Passengers in economy too would get steel cutlery. Why do you think that stopped? Not because people were stealing the knives and forks, not just because plastic or wooden spoons are cheaper, Airlines realize they can save weight by replacing fine china with foils, plastic wraps and disposable cutlery. Airlines realize the weight they save by rationalizing on your in-flight dining experience can save fuel cost. The saved weight can also be separately sold to freight companies for cargo. You see, airlines are in the business of weight. And when you're operating thousands of flights a day, even a single gram of weight per flight matters. In 2019, Finnair was carrying around 50 kilograms of print products in its narrow-bodied aircraft, around 125 kilograms in its wide-bodied planes. That year, the print products alone cost Finnair 473 tons of fuel. This was around 0.04% of its total fuel consumption. In 2021, the airline decided to do away with in-flight magazines. In 2018, United Airlines said it is now printing its in-flight magazine on lighter paper, cutting one ounce from each magazine. This one ounce from each magazine on each flight is estimated to have saved the airline $290,000 on annual fuel costs. Today, it's rare to find magazines in your seat pocket, and now you know why. Because over the years, your flight experience has been reshaped, keeping fuel efficiency in mind. The onboard sale of products have disappeared. Children are rarely handed bags filled with workbooks and crayons. Your planes no longer have curtains. Every piece of extra baggage is now charged. A 2017 survey of American Airlines found that every laptop increases the airline's operating cost by 33 cents per flight. Every pillow adds 6 cents. Every magazine a passenger brings along costs 5 cents. 
What about all the extra weight a passenger carries? In 2012, an average passenger weighed 73.2 kilograms. When flying from London's Heathrow Airport to Ireland's Dublin Airport, every passenger with the average weight contributed 16.85 kilograms to fuel consumption. But a passenger who weighed 117 kilograms consumed 27 kilograms of fuel. Passengers have become heavier since, courtesy rising obesity. Airlines fear the pandemic may have only added to the weight and their worries. This is where your weight checks come in. Chances are it won't stop with Air New Zealand and Korean Air. So the next time you're boarding, don't be surprised if a ground staff asks you to wait, please. Happy landings. We on World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.